Hi everyone, my name is Edgar. I'm the Technical Product Marketing Manager here at CodeRabbit. And today I'm going to be walking you through using Cursor with our CodeRabbit CLI. Let's go ahead and get this started. So on the screen I have my AI Fitness Coach app um, that I use for, for a lot of these demos. And I'm going to ask it to implement phase 8.4, which is architectural improvements. And then I'm going to tell it to implement or run CodeRabbit. So let's go ahead and do that. And this changes to agent mode. Okay, let's break down the prompt. So I'm asking you to implement this particular phase, which is detailed in one of my documents here. Um, this, these are our architectural changes to my app. Then I'm going to ask it to run code Rabbit. Um, and I'm going to ask it to run it with a prompt only flag, which is optimized for, for token utilization. I'm telling it to run with the flag dash T, which means code Rabbit is only going to review the uncommitted changes. Um, I'm also telling it to once it's done, please review and implement any fixes necessary. So I can see that CodeRabbit has been running and it's starting to show results. And this is what the prompt looks like. And includes, of course, the where do you find the error, what lines of code, a summary of the quick error, and, and how to fix it. You can also see that it has a different type, right? So these are refactor suggestions. And then a uh, type of potential issue would be different. Uh, we see that review completed and now cursor is implementing the fixes. Okay, let's take a look. So phase is implemented. We have testing results. Um, and then here we have the CodeRabbit fixes implemented, right? So these are the suggestions um, that CodeRabbit made. And you can see that cursor applied them all. 